Happy New Year to all of you. My dear friends, I am M. M. Bogarin, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's Gospel reading is taken from Luke chapter 2, verses 16 to 21, and we are celebrating the Solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. The two main characters in this Gospel are the shepherds and Mary. The shepherds were first described to be in haste, or they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. Let's backtrack a little bit. An angel appeared before the shepherds while they were out in the field. I mean, how often does an angel appear before you? So they must have been in awe of this experience. So they hurried off and they saw the baby just as the angel explained it to them. The shepherds are considered the outcasts of society, and yet they were chosen by God to be the first viewers of the newly born Savior and proclaimers of the good news of his birth. Not the scholars, nor the rich, nor the socialites, but the outcasts. This shows the character of God that he looks at the purity of our hearts. Even the lowliest of society has a role in our salvation. They hurried off or they went in haste. How often do we respond in haste or hurry when we are given good news? Do we believe immediately as the shepherds did? Or do we question and wait a while before we take action? When the Lord gives us direction, how soon do we act on it? Now let's look at Mary. There are different versions of verse 19. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting them in her heart. Mary remembered all these things and thought deeply about them. Different words, but with the same meaning. She kept quiet. She reflected. She treasured the moment. Did Mary know the full weight of her responsibility as mother of God? Probably not, but her response gave us a glimpse of her character and relationship with God. Her quiet disposition showed the depth of her faith and obedience. She is the Theotokos or God bearer, and yet her full attention was on God and not on herself. Her song, The Magnificat, exemplifies this when she said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. How do we respond when we are tasked to do something for the Lord or for the good of others? Do we rant and complain about how difficult the task is? Or do we spend quiet moments with God, our source of strength and grace? Two different characters with two different responses both with the same God. At different moments in our lives, we are either called to act in haste or to be still and reflect. As we welcome a new year, may we be able to discern how God wants us to act and what direction we will take. And may our song also point to Christ, just as Mary did. Happy New Year, brothers and sisters.